Go. All right, so this is the Mambo with Total Justice Game, and we are bringing you a deck profile for Rehab Dot Deck Die Deck. His new Osmodi deck. Banana.deck.com. Um, this deck profile, we took. I took some ideas from uh, Opie from Team Plays for Days. You should look them up; they're really good. Um, so our buddy is Osmodi. Um, he's been my favorite card since the beginning of the game. So of course he's gonna be the buddy. Um, I'm looking for a Hollow or Promo Tessie flag. So if you have one or know of one, hit up Mr. Joe Tanello so he can hook me up. All right. So obviously the first cards in the deck are gonna be the for the buddy, uh, for the buddy Osmodi. Um, when he enters the field. Discard card, destroy a monster. And um, as you go through, as we go through the deck, you see benefiting from just being able to call this from the drop zone from hand and pitching just to interrupt a player's play is really strong. Next we got Dance Osmodi, pay one gauge um, when he enters the field. We draw a card. Um, hand advantage is key in Magic World. He's a, he's a one two six, which he's our biggest attacker. He's basically just destroying and getting over. Um, not much to say about this young fellow. This is one of the keys of the deck. Uh, Transmogation, um, or a Bayou Cation, I'm sorry. Um, he's a two, he's a one two two size one. Um, his skills counter. Um, I can send him to the drop zone to call a Osmodi from the drop zone by paying its call. It lets you just set up, you know, getting more attacks in. The two print is also very strong. Another interesting new card is going to be Three Street Eligas. He's a 1 2 1. His attack power and defense is pretty low, but the crit is very key. He has the ability to counter when I am when during an attack on my opponent, I can call him and. Call him to the center and the attack target is redirected toward him. And then when he's destroyed, I can also pay a life to add him back to my hand. He's kind of like our Nullfire, so we don't have to play Solomon with shield. But um, I like him at three. I don't know if I will go up or down on him yet. We're still testing today. Um, two are two boy trans transformation. I what I he is a zero. He's a one one three. His skill is when he enters the uh, field, I can discard a card from hand to spin a card back. He's oops, but with a less steep price. And again, he's just another target for transformation. Transform art of body duplication, I swear I, I can't get that card to the same way. Words can't happen. English not good. And again, our favorite card ever, Inverse Omni Lord Osmodi. Uh, pay two gauge when he's destroyed. We look at three cards. Call as many as we can without paying their call cost. They have penetrating. Uh, he has penetrating life from two. 10,000, 3, 50,000, not much to say about it. But he also sets up the plays with, for instance, Transmigration or Regular Osmodi or Art of Body Duplication. We in the video. So uh, he just lets us set up plays and we can spin cards, uh, destroy cards, or get new card attack, attacking cards, uh, new cards done for next turn. Uh, right now we play only two with the teacher. I would up this up to four actually because he's such a key card with the other spells we have in this deck, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, page gauge, you spin a card back to your hand. Um, when he has a field, he destroys the monster. Then if I have three or more other 72 pillars, I get to destroy any kind of card. So destroy a monster, destroy any card. He's a one, two, five, size one. He's super strong. And we would play more of these. We have to get our hands on some more. So if you have any of these, hook, hook up, talk to my boy Joe Tanello so he can tell me what's going on. What's the biggity good? I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, the next card is... This is a new card we started playing. Um, he is when he is the field. There's a two or more other semi push. I get to draw a card. Again, and he's a one one four. This card is just another card for hand advantage, and his stats are not that bad either. Um, keeping him at two is where we're gonna stay for right now. What's his name? Deceiving Shacks. Now, this is a Tekka. This is um, second Army Lord Osmodi. He's a uh, pay to. Um, he's a ten thousand fifty thousand with counter attack pay trade. If you will leave the field, I pay against discard two cards. This card has been one of my favorite cards. And we just wanted to use him in this deck to see how it would do. Right now, we don't use him as much, but we're still gonna keep him missing his SP. Guys, the main part of what he just said, it being SP, is the only reason why it's still in the deck. Uh, let's play Osmodi. When he's played, um, I gained life. There's another Osmodi. Um, we just have a whole bunch of Osmodi targets, so this card just is to gain life. Not much to say about it. I remember that. Right now, we are um, we're taking two of the impact monsters. We don't know if we're keeping it in. We're going to play over. 
We're thinking of taking the two out for Domagens once we can get our hands on some, uh, which one of my friends should be have, have some. And, um, but he's paid to put as many Magic World cards as I want to into his soul, and I spend all the cards on my opponent's side of the field um, to their hand, and they take damage for each one. And I'm going to say he's also a 6 2 5. Magical advice on um, key stable cards since day one, return size to less to its owner's hand. Nice ones again. These are also the staples. Pay one gauge, draw two. One of the best draw cards in the game right now. Um, next, we get to the newest things, and this is how a lot of our combos go off now. We play three of Emergency Ward Neverland. When a card is spun back to the hand, gain a life. Solomon's bar, whenever, whenever your opponent's hand size increases outside of the charging draw, they discard a card. And Solomon's bear to make all your size two, size ones. These cards combo great with our piece, our um, teacher. That's why we would definitely play more, just because his effect can get cleared so quickly. Um, these cards, we, I don't know, we're going to see a video how the combos work really well, and it just kind of stole the game for us. I remember when three was considered that. We take one, uh, one more set, it just stands on Monster with Osmodi. We're testing to see if we want to keep playing it. We have, haven't seen much play of it, so we're probably going to take it out for another Gamma Gen once we get our hands on those. Um, good to go. Return a size one of this monster with field to his owner's hand and gain what this triggers our Neverland and our Marge. Um It just gains us two life basically, and our opponent loses a card because of it. Strong card. Never thought of playing it, but shout out to Opie from the Place for Days. He's the one that set us up with this play. Uh, watching his, his deck videos and meeting them in Atlanta. The guards. Uh, three never say never. They uh, we gauge two, and then we have no cards in hand. We draw two. This is the reason we don't have to play um, Solomon's books anymore because these cards do the same thing basically for an easier cost. And last one, I least three great spells Saturday night. Devil Fever. Pay two, pay a life. Choose up to three size ones. Call them uh, by paying the call calls, and we shuffle all our card, all our cards for our drop them back into the deck. It just again sets up more attackers, more plays, and more profit. Uh, and this has been Osmodi Deck with uh, Team Total Just Gaming. Uh, and thank you.